Well, hello again. Welcome again to another podcast. Down to earth, but heavenly minded. I'm your host, Irv Risch. The Two Essentials for Shepherding by Steve Hulsheiser. There can be no doubt that one of the greatest needs among the Lord's people is shepherds raised up by the Holy Spirit. Acts 20.28 20, Some assemblies have a few shepherds. Others may have one, and many others have none. Too many have elders who are elders in name only. Hopefully, none of these fit the Lord's description of Israel's shepherds. The description has not yet not strengthened, neither have ye uh, healed that which is sick. Neither have you bound up that which is broken. Neither have ye brought again that which is driven away. Neither have ye sought that which was lost. But with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. And that's found in uh, Ezekiel 34.4. In the... In Days such as those, they are two essentials for shepherds who feel a responsibility uh, to the uh, chief shepherd for the care of his sheep. The two essentials are a heart and a spine. It is evident from Scripture that the shepherds raised up of the Holy Spirit will have the love for the sheep. The love uh, drives the shepherd to give his life for the sheep. John 10, 11, which reads, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. It also causes him to lead rather than drive the sheep. It is very easy when dealing with stubborn sheep to become cold and callous, rather than leading out of love. John 10.4 tells us, When he was brought all his sheep out, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. What a difference. May the Lord raise up shepherds who have a heart for the Lord, and for his sheep. In First Peter 5, 2, give a shepherd's care to God's flock among you, exercising oversight, not merely as a duty, but willingly under God's direction for the shameful profit, or by, uh, but eagerly, eagerly. It is also evident from Scripture, that shepherds need a spine. Their love must not become soft and indifferent to sin. Grace must not compromise the truth. In addition to the staff, the shepherd has a rod. When necessary, the rod of discipline must be administered for the good of the sheep and the good of the flock. Hebrews 12, 6 tells us, For the Lord disciplines the ones he loves and chastens every son he accepts. Today, there are conditions uh, tolerant in some local churches that are a result of the lack of discipline. Those who have been unfaithful to their marriage, some multiply times and being accepted as if nothing happened. Some who are living with one to whom they are not married are welcome, and many even take part in certain church functions. Thankfully, this is not the norm, but neither it is an isolated occurrence. May the Lord raise up shepherds who have both the heart and the spine necessary to do the valuable work.